Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today we are making oatmeal cookies. Mmm, yummy. I had a request from someone to make oatmeal cookies, so that is what we are going to do. For the tools and the ingredients, what I'll do is I'll put a description in the description down below. They'll have all the amounts listed. Let's get baking. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to crack our eggs and put them in this bowl. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and whisk these up real well. Okay, now after you have the eggs beaten, what we're gonna do is we are gonna add our raisins to the egg mixture. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and soak these. So we're gonna let this soak for about a half hour. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep the raisins nice and soft when they are baking in the oatmeal cookie. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, what happens is the raisins tend to uh, dry out and get burnt and things like that, and they don't taste very good. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll just leave this here for 30 minutes. Once we have soaked the raisins, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now let's go ahead and cream the butter with the sugars. and our vanilla extract. Now to our flour, we're gonna just go ahead and add our cinnamon, our baking soda, and our sugar. We'll go ahead and just whisk that together a little bit. You can also sift it all together if you like. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add this little by little to our mixture. Okay, then after about half of the flour has been added, we're gonna go ahead and add our raisins and our egg. And then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and just do everything, the rest of it by hand. Clean the beaters and go ahead and take a wooden spoon. Let's go ahead and just hand mix everything now. We'll add some more of the flour. Try not to get it everywhere. The rest of our flour. And then we'll also add in our oatmeal. We want to mix it all together. All right, and once, we'll once we are done, we'll have quite a bit of uh, cookie dough here, enough to make a lot of cookies. And I just usually take a tablespoon and come in here and just form it into a little cookie shape like that, and go ahead and put it on a ungreased baking sheet, whatever size you want. Okay, and then when you are done putting them on the baking sheet, go ahead and bake them for 10 to 12 minutes until they are nice and golden brown. Okay, and then when they are done, they will look like this. You go ahead and let them sit and cool, and you can put them on a cookie rack if you want. All right, and that is how you make oatmeal cookies. Mmm, awesome. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care. It's time for me to dive into one of these. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, take this guy right here. Mmm. Mmm. Soft and chewy. Mmm, 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 mmm.